We begin with an incident at a Chicago bar last night that is now getting national attention. Now, President Trump's son, Eric, says he was spit on. Trump was at the upscale cocktail bar, The Aviary, when this happened. And tonight, we're learning new details about the altercation. NBC5's Michelle Relaford is live with the story. Michelle. Well, Patrick, Eric Trump only speaking on the matter to Breitbart News, saying it was disgusting and that the employee clearly has emotional problems. Well, right now it's a big problem for the restaurant now facing a lot of heat. You don't spit on somebody. That's cowardice. But whatever your political affiliations are, right, you don't deserve to be, you know, assaulted. Strong reactions to news. Eric Trump, second son of President Donald Trump, was spit on at a Chicago restaurant by an employee. More power to her, I guess. Eric Trump seen here leaving the aviary restaurant in Fulton Market last night where the incident occurred around 830. I can see how, you know, it's a time of tension right now and people are it's very polarized and it can make people act out of character. Chicago police assisting the Secret Service in detaining the woman who was later released when Trump didn't press charges. The aviary has now placed her on leave. I don't think she should be in custody. Um, he didn't, she didn't necessarily harm him, but fired, yeah. Hundreds of comments both celebrating and slamming the restaurant on Facebook, some even calling for a boycott. In a statement, the aviary said, in part, we have voices and the means to be heard. A degrading act lowers the tenor of debate. To some, it might feel good, but it is unlikely to serve any larger purpose. We hope this incident can at least serve to illuminate the current absurdity of the discourse in our politics. Somebody expressed themselves to him and... I think they have the right to do that. It doesn't matter who you are and where you're from and if your dad's the president or not, uh, you're still a human being. So that's kind of that's kind of crappy. Aviary management stressing that no customers should be spat on and also that the entire staff should not be judged by the actions of one person. The Secret Service not commenting. Michelle Relaford, NBC5 News. Back to you. Michelle, thank you.